Hello friends, this video on electricity and circuits part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, based on whatever basic things we have learned about an electric circuit, let us try to understand how a torch works. Now, I'm sure all of you know what is a torch. Torch provides us light when uh, there is a power cut, when there is a power cut in your house or if you are going out at night to a place which is very dark and lonely, you carry a torch. It gives you a lot of light. Now, how does a tor torch work? You have a switch here, a, a slider switch. So, you just slide it and it is switched on. And, the, and it gives you light. Yeah, when you slide it back, it is switched off and it doesn't give you light anymore. So that's how it works. So let us try to understand what is there inside this torch which makes it operate in this fashion. So if, uh, uh, now for better understanding, you can take a torch, just try to open it and you see that there are batteries present inside the torch. So inside the torch, we also have a bulb which actually provides light. So by now, we already know that what are the conditions needed for a bulb to glow, correct? So we, based on all those uh, understanding, we will see in this case also how the torch operates. So before we understand its working, let us look at the internal structure of the torch. So from outside, this is how the torch looks like. But when you look at its internal structure, you will see that there are batteries present here. Now some torches have two batteries, some have three batteries. So depending upon the, you know, the type, the amount of light it provides, it has different type, different uh, sizes of batteries. So battery which are present like this, so you see here, two cells, they are connected one after another and the combination of two cells form a battery. So note here that the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the positive terminal. So that is very important when we how we are connecting two cells to form a battery is very important. So battery is one important part. Next thing is bulb. As you can see here, this is the bulb because bulb is the one which is actually going to produce the light. So inside the bulb again, you have the tungsten filament as you can see here. Third is the switch, as you see here, the slider switch. Now, as, it, as you slide it, the torch is like switched on and off. You have a reflector. So this is the reflector, which is like a curved surface. And the main purpose of this reflector is to uh, redirect the light in such a way that we are able to get a beam of light from the torch. And finally, an outer casing. So this outer covering of the torch, which is often made up of plastic or steel. So that's the outer casing. So inside this casing, all these different parts are present. So this is the outer casing basically. So now let us see how exactly a torch works. So when you look at this internal structure, you see another very important part. Do you see a spring-like structure, this blue color structure, which is present throughout the length of the torch? So this is nothing but a spring, which is also termed as a contact. Why is it called contact? Because it connects the different parts of the torch, like the batteries, the switch and the lamp or the bulb. So the bulb, switch and the batteries, they are all connected through this uh, blue spring like structure and it connects them so that electrical conduction happens between these three parts that means current can flow current which is being generated in the battery that should get connected that should be able to reach the bulb so we do not have wires here instead of the wires we have these springs here so it helps to complete the circuit so it, it basically plays the role of the wires here so it helps to complete the circuit so these blue wires or these contacts play a very important role so they are often called as contacts so they are nothing but thin springs or strips of metal now why they should be metal because they have to be good conductors only then they will allow current to pass through them now let's see what happens when we switch on the torch and what happens when we switch it off. Now how do we switch on the torch? We just slide the switch. So let's say we have switched it on. So when the torch is switched on, what happens is the battery is in touch with the bulb. So if you see here, this is the bulb and the bulb and the battery, they are in touch through these contacts. So again, this is a contact between the bulb and the battery. Now, when the both of these are in touch, 
what happens? The bulb glows. That's what we have learned before also. So if, if you connect both the terminals of the bulb to the terminals of the battery, so here you can see you are connecting through to the positive terminal like this here with the positive terminal and from here to the negative terminal. So you are basically connecting the bulb to the both positive and negative terminal of the battery. So in this case, the bulb will be on. So the bulb will glow. So that is the situation when we switch it on because the contact stays here. So they are in contact. So the battery and the bulb, they are in contact and therefore they, their positive and negative terminals are connected to each other. So in this situation, current flows through the circuit, the filament gets heated, it produces light and the reflector, you know, kind of redirects the light rays to allow a steady beam to be uh, to fall on other objects and that is the light which we see from the torch. Now what happens when we switch it off that is when we put it, push it back in the opposite direction or when we slide it backwards. So in that case the contact breaks. As you see here this contact breaks. Now when the contact breaks what happens? The bulb doesn't glow anymore. Because you see the contact is broken. So the contact or the uh, connection between the bulb and the batteries are broken. So in this case, the bulb doesn't glow. So this is the situation of off. So it is basically a very simple construction. Just a bulb connected to the battery. Now some, as soon as you touch the bulb to the battery, it glows. As soon as you take it away from the battery, it doesn't glow. So that is the simple concept here. It is just that we have uh, created a switch outside and have connected a few springs inside so that with the help of that switch we can build the contact between the bulb and the battery and again we can break the contact between the bulb and the battery and that's how the torch switches on and off if you want you can check it out yourself if you have a torch at your home just try to open it look at the batteries and then you can also see the springs present there you can also have a look at the bulb it, it's a very tiny bulb and then you can actually visualize this entire structure and you you will know it for yourself that it is a very simple thing that is happening inside the torch so this is how a torch works thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again